Hey everybody, what's up? On this video, you'll find out five reasons why your ads are now being approved. Hey, what's up guys, Hernan here and welcome to another video. Now in this video, I wanted to specifically address the question of why my Facebook ads are not being approved or why my ads are being disapproved and whatnot. And I wanted to kind of give you five reasons to actually check when you're launching your Facebook ads because the reality is that Facebook has changed the rules a lot, and I mean a lot over the past, I, I would say, I don't know, 30 days and some of your ads that might be running right now, then after a closer review, they might get disapproved. So let's jump into the five reasons why your ads are not being approved. Now with that said, I also want to invite you guys to the free Facebook group. It's 100% free and actually we got featured on one of the top nine Facebook groups for digital marketers that you should check out by Ahrefs. So I'm gonna leave a link to that um, to that article on the description of this video below. So thank you the guys in Ahrefs and if they say it, you should definitely be checking it out. All right, so let's jump into the five reasons of why your ads are not being approved on Facebook. The main reason, reason number one, is that you might be promoting something that is either banned or restricted on Facebook. You know, here's the thing. I've been having a big influx of people contacting me trying to promote stuff like Bitcoin or stuff like CBD oils and stuff like, I don't know, uh, beauty products and whatnot. And not all of them are completely 100% banned. Bitcoin, it was banned, but now they put it back on. But some of them might be restricted. By restricted, I mean that you need to be super, super careful. Like, I mean, extremely careful when it comes to what kind of claims you're doing with your Facebook ads and what kind of, of pictures you're using, etc., etc. So do not be like some, some stuff you cannot promote on Facebook. OK, you cannot promote guns, you cannot promote drugs, you cannot promote hate. I don't know, human trafficking is just, you know, Facebook is not a one size fits all kind of platform. OK, so you should understand that. But some products like financial services, like beauty products, like, you know, those type of things, uh, they're really scrutinized by Facebook, okay? So if you have a financial offer or if you have a financial product, that's fine, but you need to be super, super careful with your wording, with your video, audio, you know, in case you do videos, with what you're showing in your imagery, again, be super careful when it comes to uh, whatever claims you're doing. Do not use before and after pictures. Those are not well received on Facebook. And you know, pretty much sometimes, um, you know, it's actually better to find another network to promote your products. Now, the second reason why your ads could not be approved is because you are giving people a bad experience in your landing page. And by bad experience, I mean that either your website takes a lot to load, it might be offline, or it might be the case that, um, you know, the, the ads uh, or, or the page rather is too claimy. Again, maybe your, your ads are good, but your income claims are happening on your landing page. Or maybe, uh, there are a lot of pop-ups and whatnot and what Facebook does is they do check those two things. They check number one the ad but they also check the landing page. Facebook will, know, go f will not go further than for example uh, a payment gateway or it, they will not go further than let's say uh, an opt-in form. All right? So have that in mind, um, you know, your Facebook page or your landing page rather that you're, that you're sending people from Facebook needs to be compliant as well. You need to have your privacy policy, you need to have your disclaimer, your, you know, your contact details and all that chats uh, so that your Facebook ads will get reapproved. because again, you're, you know, kind of abiding the rules on the Facebook side of things, but you're breaking them on the landing page side of things, which is not a good thing. Number three reason that your ads might not get approved is because of a text issue on the image or the audio. Here's the thing. There was a, you know, once upon a time, and once upon a time I mean last year, which, you know, in Facebook terms like a million years, uh, there was this fact that you couldn't run ads with higher than 20% text, okay? So if you had an ad that was higher than 20% text in the image, it will get disapproved and rejected immediately. So the reality is that that changed. Now you are allowed to run ads with you know more than 20% text on your image or your videos but according to Facebook they will decrease your reach now there is a threshold for that i think that 40% or something so above 30 
I think it's about 40%. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember correctly, but um, I think it's about 40%. If you have only text in your ad, it will get disapproved. So it's not about 20% anymore. It's about a little bit more like 40 or 35%. Um, so if you're going at that route, your ad might get disapproved. Now, if you go above 20%, uh, there's this, um, you know, your ads might get a little bit less reach, which is kind of debatable because I have some ads out there with, uh, you know, more than 20% uh, text on them and they're working really, really well. So have that in mind. Now, the fourth reason why your ads might not be approved is because you're referring to personal attributes of the viewer. Like, for example, there's this fine line where you are actually uh, referring to personal attributes like ethnicity or race or religion uh, from the personal viewer and you're actually targeting them. Like, for example, uh, you cannot say, um, hey, Hernan, this t-shirt is for you, right? You cannot say that. Or you cannot say stuff like meet um, other Christians or are you a Christian? Meet other people like you, S stuff like that, you know? So stuff that refers heavily to personal attributes are not going to be approved and that's kind of a, that's kind of a, sometimes it's kind of subjective you know sometimes it's like blatant you're you're playing with it like really bad but sometimes it's kind of subjective because at the end of the day maybe the algo approves your your um maybe the algo approves your um your your ad but then um, you know, somebody from the policy team, they will disapprove it later on. So it's kind of it's kind of subjective and you need to show people, that's a little bird right there. You need to show people why your ads are not that, you know, you're not, you're not referring to any kind of um, attributes or personal attributes, et cetera, et cetera. So have that in mind. And last but not least, and I know that I have a problem with this, is that grammar, spelling, and you know, the whole general idea of that you, your, you need to write good. You need to write good in order for your Facebook ads to really work. So have that in mind. You need to check uh, with something like Grammarly. I use Grammarly in conjunction with uh, Hemingway app. Grammarly would allow me to, you know, go through all of the grammar, spelling and whatnot. And then Hemingway app will allow me to do my Facebook ads a little bit simpler because you want people to read them and you want to, you know, have this in mind that your ads need to be simpler. To be, to be simple, you don't need to use big words and whatnot, so have that in mind. Um, spelling, grammar, if you have a lot of spelling errors, a lot of grammar, like grammatically or gram grammar errors, that's the problem right there, um, uh, your, your ads will potentially get disapproved. So there you have it guys, five reasons why your ads might be disapproved. If you have any other reasons that you want to discuss, I strongly suggest that A, you post in the comments below, tell me what you think, Tell me what kind of reasons you're getting. Maybe there's not a reason, okay? Maybe there's some, sometimes your ads are not, are not getting approved and there's no an evident reason for that. And if you think that you're playing by the rules, just resubmit it, but have this in mind. Um, a lot of disapproved ads on your ad account or if you have like a lot of disapproved ads at once can get your ad account shut down. And the reality is that, you know, something that you launched today, which is completely uh, abiding by Facebook rules, maybe six months down the road, it won't and it will get disapproved because you get your ads deactivated and then you're not running them anymore, but they will get disapproved at some point. So it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a tricky system that they have. But anyways, it is what it is, right? So if you have any questions, etc., etc., go ahead and post the comment below. And number two, come and join the free Facebook group and tell me what kind of ads you're getting disapproved because it's really important that we go through it together and we kind of gather this data, we crowdsource this data uh, from Facebook so that, you know, we have a better idea on how to make our ads better. All right, guys, so thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.